Welcome to the cellular post office. This is DNA, the boss. She gives the instructions for transcription. This is mRNA, the courier. She delivers the messages. At the ribosome, the mRNA message is translated. This is protein, the product. And that's all the characters, or is it? Meet microRNA, the saboteur. Only about 22 nucleotides long, she can intercept mRNA messages either by blocking translation or degrading the mRNA altogether. MicroRNAs have a base sequence complementary to that of mRNAs, which allows them to bind, stopping the translation of proteins. A single microRNA can target multiple mRNAs. What does this have to do with cancer? Cancer risk is controlled by two families of genes tumor suppressor genes that slow down mitosis, and oncogenes that speed up mitosis. If a tumor suppressor's mRNA letter is intercepted by microRNA, it cannot be translated into proteins that slow down mitosis. Conversely, if microRNA fails to intercept an oncogene's mRNA letter, it will be translated into an excess of proteins that speed up mitosis. The combined result? Uncontrolled cell division, cancer. What if we could control the microRNA saboteurs? Scientists have targeted microRNAs for potential cancer therapies. For example, MIR-21 downregulates tumor suppressors. We could introduce a polynucleotide that binds to MIR-21, stopping it from sabotaging the tumor suppressors. MIR-34A downregulates oncogenes. We could introduce microRNA mimics similar in structure to MIR-34A to help sabotage oncogenes. In the cellular post office, even the smallest saboteurs can decide our ultimate fate. But now, we know how to turn them into forces for good. I'm Amei, and this is MicroRNA Cancer Therapies Explained.